Hey, it's Ira Prairie Girl here. Today I am coming to you from a restored prairie in Saragota County. I am on the corner of B20 and Kildeer Avenue, or also B20 is known as 330th Street. And today we're going to take a look at butterfly milkweed. Now this prairie, as you can see, was restored in 1995, and it is just a small section of land that's been replanted and it is just full of wildflowers. This is a beautiful restored area. Right here in front of me I have some dogbane, prairie coreopsis. Right over here we have some wild white indigo that's starting to form uh, uh, pods. And if you want to, you can find more information about uh, indigos on my previous video. Um, but today we're going to take a look at orange milkweed or butterfly milkweed. Not only is this prairie or this piece of land full of um, of wildflowers, but it's also right now just popping with, with birds. There's birds singing everywhere. We've got, uh, of course, we've got red-winged blackbirds, but there's goldfinches in here. Uh, Dixie seals are going crazy. And just a minute ago, we had a monarch butterfly um, fly by. So it doesn't have to be a huge piece of land uh, to, to be beneficial to the wildlife. I am happen to be on a blacktop road, and so we're going to hopefully avoid a lot of, of uh, car traffic in my video, but you'll just have to forgive me. This is this is a well-traveled road, but it, it, this spot is just beautiful. Um, so like I said, we're going to take a look at butterfly milkweed. It uh, is a native plant. I'll have to tell you the first time I saw butterfly milkweed, it looks like a plant that uh, someone must have placed there. It, 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 it's so brilliant that you're like, that, that can't be native. But uh, it is a native plant. It is drought resistant and you'll find it in some, some places that you wouldn't expect it to be. It, you'll often find it in roadside ditches, uh, along railroad tracks, and um, also in an in a open dry prairie. So if you stay with me, we're going to walk over to a different section of the uh, prairie right here and it is just full of orange butterfly milkweed. show you the different colors of butterfly milkweed. This is the more typical color that you're going to see, this orange color. If you look right behind me here, I have a almost an orange yellow color. So different colors that this you'll find this plant in from the orange to a yellowish color and then there's also a color and I think I can probably find one here. Um, it's more of a red orange, almost a fuchsia. Very, very brilliant. And like I said, if you're driving down the road and you see an orange plant um, in the in the roadside ditch, it's going to catch your eye. It is a very, very flashy uh, native wildflower. So let's talk about some of the common things about milkweed. You probably know that milkweed is a necessary plant for the monarch butterfly. It is the only plant um, that the monarch butterfly, go to the tree swallow, uh, will lay its egg on. And there are at least 16 different types of milkweed in in Iowa. Now. The common thing about milkweed is their, the flower itself. There are five petals that go up and five petals that go down. So the five that go down, they kind of flare out and uh, they are called the corolla. So the five petals that flare out downward are the corolla. Then there's five that go up. <clears throat> Those are called the corona. So there are five petals that stick up and uh, they all, they're, they kind of have a point and they're called a hood. So the five hoods are up and each five of those hoods have a horn. Um, to see the horn, you're really going to have to take a close up picture of the flower and then zoom in or get a microscope out. Now, the thing about uh, butterfly milkweed different from, or I'm going to compare it to common milkweed, which is the one that most of us can identify. Common milkweed, their flower clusters come in a ball. So if you see a ball, um, mostly it's going to be prairie milkweed or common milkweed. Butterfly milkweed comes in an umbrel. You can see it's a, a flat array of the flowers here. So it comes in a, like an umbrella. It's called an um, umbrel. One thing that's different about butterfly milkweed compared to all other milkweeds is that this milkweed 
does not have that milky sap. So if you were to take a butterfly milkweed um, stem and it were to and you were to break it, that stem would have a white sap that would come out of it. The for some reason this milkweed does not have that that white sap. The leaves on the butterfly milkweed are alternate. Um, that means they go every other. They are again very different from the common milkweed. These leaves are long. They get to be about two to six inches long and about an inch wide. So they're a long slender leaf. They have a smooth margin. Um, and then also the stem on this, as you, I can see right in front of me, is very hairy. So those are the characteristics of the butterfly milkweed. Often I give you characteristics so you can identify the plant, but this one, I mean, this one is just boom right in your face. This is butterfly milkweed. It's that orange um, plant out in the prairie. If it's a young plant, it'll be two or three um, stems coming up, but you can also see that it, it uh, grows into be into a bushy appearance as well. So an interesting thing to know about uh, milkweed is I mentioned the um, corolla, or it's also called the crown, um, which is the top part, those five um, petals that go up. They have, um, their stamen is split. It's split, and as the, um, I'm watching a bee right now as I tell you about this, um, as the insects visit the butterfly milkweed or any milkweed, the split stamen, um, the insect's leg, insect's leg falls into that crevice, and in that crevice is a milky or a waxy sap pollen sac um, that attaches to the insect's leg. And then as they fly away, they take that pollen sac with them, and when they visit the next flower, um, their leg again falls into this crevice between the stamens and leaves that um, pollen sac there and uh, that is how the milkweed are pollinated. Um, it takes a pretty strong insect to be able to pull that waxy pollen sac out of um, a butterfly milkweed uh, flower, and so I, I think sometimes they get stuck in there. I don't know if this guy's stuck or not, but it's, it says that only the strong insects are able to carry that, that uh, pollen sac to the next flower. Another name for butterfly milkweed is pleurisy plant or pleurisy root. Um, it was used uh, by the native Indians and by settlers to um, cure pleurisy or any kind of chest pain or um, lung inflammation. So pleurisy is when there's an inflammation between the tissues in your lungs that cause a lot of pain when you're breathing. And so they would take the roots and they would chew those roots and that would um, cure that that pleurisy. Uh, often now pleurisy is um, treated with antibiotics so I don't know if that's the case here if, but this is also called pleurisy root because it was used for pulmonary um, uh, illnesses. Um, in, this, in the late summer it'll form seed pods. Uh, those seed pods are edible um, when they're very young. I have not tried one but I did try a seed pod uh, last summer of a common milkweed. It, you have to get it when it's real green and it kind of tasted like a cucumber so I, I don't know if that's the same here. But yeah, they are edible um, when, they're, when they're still green. Um, also the flowers are edible. Um, they taste kind of like, I've, I've read that they taste kind of like a sweet pea. And then also even the greens, the greens and the buds of the flower, um, I have read are similar to that of eating spinach. Now again, I am not a uh, person to go by for uh, whether something is edible or not or whether it's poisonous, so please don't use my videos for uh, deciding whether or not you're going to eat something. Now the seed pods of the milkweed, um, these grow to be about six inches long on the butterfly milkweed. Uh, they start out kind of a green color and then turn brown. They are full of little brown seeds that have white silk or floss to them. And when that pot opens up, they fly out like a, like a parachute and that they're dispersed on in the wind. The neat thing about a uh, seed pod milkweed, did I say that right? The neat thing about uh, the seeds of milkweed 
is that they are used or have been used for pillows. They're real soft and fluffy, so um, pioneers would use them to make pillows. Uh, in World War II, they were actually used um, to fill life jackets. And uh, also, they, are, they can be used um, for oil spills um, out on the water or in the ocean. Uh, they are used to suck up the, the, uh, the oil that's been spilled in the water. Well, to finish my video, I just want to share with you one legend about uh, butterfly milkweed from the Native Indians. Um, the Native Indians would use the roots to make a body wash, and uh, their belief was that the body wash would give them strength uh, for lifting and for running. So I always like to throw that in there. Well, I just really want to encourage you to get out. It is a beautiful June morning. I guess I don't know if I mentioned that. It is June. Butterfly milkweed blooms. Um, between June and September. This is the last weekend in June. And as I sit in this one spot, I have butterfly milkweed, I have lead plant in front of me, there's prairie clover, there's a bush clover, coreopsis, uh, cone flowers behind me, compass plant in front of me. It is just a beautiful morning to be out in the prairie. Um, I really encourage you to get out and find some area around you that you can enjoy nature. Um, there are so many wonderful things to see out in nature, and I hope that you can get out and enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and check out my other videos as well. This is Ira Prairie Girl. I hope you have a great summer.